Hi guys, Carrie here. Hey, so I got the attachments for my Invisalign. Yay! No, not really. Um, anyway, <laughs> I was just watching an Invisalign commercial and I, I mean, I had to look at their YouTube. I was like, okay, how are they marketing this? And of course, the person in the picture has no attachments. I look like they have her up close and everything. So anyway, here's my attachments. I have one on each of the second teeth up top, one on the incisors, one on the first premolar, and one on the first molar on the top. So there's eight on the top, and on the bottom I have five. I have one, two, three, four, five. So I have one on this first smaller and not one on this side first smaller. I don't know. Anyway, they kind of feel like a mini braces. And really the top, the second ones here are almost the same size as the brackets I just got off, believe it or not. So anyway, those are the attachments. Um, that's one thing in Invisalign, they, when they try to sell you out, they never tell you, hey, you're going to have, like, these things stuck to your teeth. And I watched some other videos, and people said they stain over time, so I wasn't really thrilled they were putting on this tooth. I mean, that's, like, really up front. But I guess you can't really tell, so it's no big deal. And I got ten more Invisalign trays. So, um, yeah. Um, and the new trays I got are a lot different than the other trays. This is actually my very first training tray set. Oop. And then these are the ones I just got. Um, they've started to work my wisdom teeth in, which is really cool, because see how it ah, goes all the way back to my wisdom tooth, which is nice because they're actually aligning them too. I don't know if you saw my complete Invisalign video, but I'll link it down at the bottom just in case you didn't get to, so you can watch the remainder of my case. The other thing cool about these trays is they put the teeth I'm missing back in. So um, see, because there's one of the teeth I was missing right here, the second on the second premolar on top. So um, it's it's added so much bite stability just to be able to like have that grip of a bite. Um, I've liked that a lot, and I also wanted to say because I have the training trays, I'm kind of comparing them now to like the this is the first tray but this is the first tray from Invisalign directly these are made in the dentist's office um, they're made of a different material these ones are thicker um, these are a bit more detailed the ones that came from Invisalign um, I know these things wholesale cost cost absolutely nothing because it says made in Mexico all over which I don't care but just saying <laughs> the profit margin on orthodontics is insane so these are the new ones here, and what's cool, I mean, on the bottom, I'm, I didn't, they didn't have enough space yet to create that, um, the tooth on this one spot here. So I looked, I think, tray four or five, I get the space back for that one, and then I'll have a pretty dynamic bite again. I'm looking forward to it because, you know, I, even, even though I had the spaces open and I really wasn't having headaches from TMJ, my bite was like when I closed my mouth, it didn't really grip, it kind of slid, and... I don't know. It just once I got the grip, that was it was fine. I I mean, I, it was like when I was 12 years old before the whole incident even occurred. Again, because I couldn't make my jaw pop if I wanted to. So when the stability of having that tooth in there, oh my gosh, made worlds and worlds of difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these things in. Okay, there's the top. So actually, you can see the attachments more when I pop them in than when I the one I don't have them on, and they kind of look like a uh, um oh what do they call that a skew number on them um so it kind of looks like you have a filling but whatever it's so far on the back it's not a big deal so here's where I am now. third tray but actually it's the first tray in this set I'm not going to make a video every single tray but I am going to do a few more videos like comparing to regular braces and uh, maybe the stuff the dentist didn't tell you how to clean them all that kind of stuff I'll do videos on that too um, but hopefully this is like the refinishing stage of this treatment oh and I wanted to comment um, I looked at a few other videos of some reversing orthodontic cases most of them were done by dentists and one of the things is, like, what I'm struggling with now is the flaring. Um, if you saw my Invisalign video, it really looked like that was going to take care of all of the flaring. 
So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, the other thing is, is that since my wisdom teeth are now included in the tray and they were never like included in the brackets or anything, like all back in here is totally getting cut up. And same with, and here my tongue is like completely getting cut up on the side. And my mouth is so dry. If you have Invisalign, you know what I mean. you got to carry a water bottle around with you everywhere. It just dries out your mouth so much. Okay, I have a few more videos I'd like to do. But the attachments aren't horrible. But I've seen people have no attachments on here. I've seen people have 18 attachments on here. I got 13, so I'm somewhere in the middle. Always the way, right? But it's okay. All is good. Um, looking forward to my finished result in the video. It was it was awesome. It was what I've been waiting for all these years. Okay, guys. Have a great night, and thanks for watching. Aloha.